My wife lost 45 pounds and started wearing sexy clothes. But even more important than that, she became incredible in bed. I immediately suspected that something was wrong, and a friend of mine confirmed my suspicions. She is definitely cheating on you. Where else could she have learned that? Mark was a bachelor and flirted with every single girl he saw. He repeatedly pushed me to get a mistress. But there was always only one woman for me. Her betrayal would mean the end of the world to me. Directly asking my wife about cheating would be humiliating for her. So I quickly came up with a plan to clear things up. First, I lied to Nicole. Honey, I'm going to stay late at the bar with Mark. Don't wait up for me. Don't drink too much. You have an important presentation tomorrow. She was sure that I would spend the whole day at work and that would be my trump card. I urgently called my assistant to my office. Take your coat off. You won't be leaving anytime soon. I order her to conduct the presentation for me. That morning, I caught Nicole taking on the phone. She was whispering and quickly hung up when I came in. Honey, here's your coffee. Hurry up or you'll be late for work. I'm already late for yoga. Of course, I went to spy on my wife instead of working. I immediately realized that she was lying to me. Nicole drove past the yoga center and stopped at an adult store. She spent an hour there and came out incredibly happy. She was holding a bag, but she didn't take it home. Instead, she took it to a hotel. Could Mark be right about my wife having an affair? Nicole herself distracted me from this terrible thought. I'm waiting for you at the Adam and Eve Hotel at 5 p.m., room 482. Don't be late. I have a surprise for you. She didn't know that I was already there and was extremely anxious. 5 p.m. was still seven hours away. Who was she going to spend the time with? Guests entered the hotel, one after the other, and there was a lot of single men among them. Could one of them be Nicole's lover? I could no longer control myself and went to the room. I leaned against the door and heard a familiar male voice. I got furious and started banging on the door. But Nicole wasn't opening. I know you're in there. I won't leave until you open the door. But David, you should be at work. I'm not ready yet. She didn't want to let me in. So I broke into the room and started looking for her lover. Where is he? I heard his voice. And this morning, you were whispering to him on the phone. Nicole pretended that she didn't know what I was talking about, but claimed that she had secretly booked the hotel room that morning. Suddenly, I saw a scene from my favorite movie on the TV screen behind her, and heard the same familiar voice again. It was the voice of one of the actors. Only then, I noticed that my wife was wearing an unusual outfit under the robe. She had prepared a role-playing scenario for me, 
and wanted to learn the lines before I arrived. Nicole was angry at me for spoiling her surprise. I had to tell her about my suspicions, because the change of her behavior was too sudden. Then she confessed. It was you. You changed me. I mean, your words. My wife reminded me that a couple of months before, Mark came to visit us and we stayed up late. That night, Nicole went downstairs to have some water and accidentally heard me say that I was not going to cheat on my wife. She's perfect for me, you know. We've been together for 10 years. And I'm still crazy about her smell, her body, her look. My words impressed her so much that her self-doubts and insecurities about her body instantly disappeared. She started losing weight because she no longer perceived it as a problem. Plus, I didn't like the new Nicole any less than the old one. Well, you ruined the surprise. Now I have to improvise. Close the door. Things are about to get fun. I was disgusted by my body after giving birth. My husband left me because of the way I looked. So, I took a picture of myself in underwear and put it on the fridge. I hope this helps me to lose weight. Back then, I had no idea that my son had accidentally posted that awful photo of me on social media. And then threw my phone in the sink! So, the next day, when I picked it up from the repair shop, I didn't understand why I had so many messages. I was horrified when I opened my social media and saw that the photo of my ugly stretched belly had gone viral. Oh, no, 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 please, no! The first thing I saw was a message saying, It's a crime against humanity to post such a disgusting picture. It had been posted by a former friend of mine, a woman who seduced my husband and was now his wife. Christy had a beauty blog, and unlike me, she met all beauty standards. Honey, don't embarrass yourself and delete it. Only beautiful people can be successful. I was burning with shame and wanted to delete the photo as soon as possible. But then I saw some other comments. You are so beautiful and brave. Thanks for showing what reality looks like. I also have stretch marks. But thanks to you, I'm no longer ashamed of them. You helped me accept myself. Thank you. You're amazing. As it turned out, thousands of women saw themselves in my photo. And they felt relieved that they were not the only ones struggling. Surprisingly, the photo no longer seemed terrible to me. My number of followers kept growing and growing. I read hundreds of positive comments and I felt like I had grown wings. That feeling quickly vanished as soon as my husband brought my son home. Mom, you won't believe it! 
Christy has a surprise for me. We will celebrate my birthday at the water park. She asked if you could dress up like Little Mermaid. I knew that Christy wanted to embarrass me. Because I would look awful wearing a swimsuit when compared to her. However, I didn't want to ruin my son's holiday and shut the party down, so I agreed. If only I knew what was in store for me. I went to the water park wearing the Little Mermaid costume. But when I saw Christy, looking sane and perfect, I immediately hid in the bathroom. I had never felt so ashamed of my body before. All the confidence provided by the online comments went down the drain. Suddenly, someone knocked on the door. Take this. It's going to look perfect on you. If you go out like that, guests might feel sick. Also, I'll ask you for the last time. Delete that ugly photo from your account. Christy gave me a whale suit, and in desperation, I put it on. But as it turned out, only waiters wore those suits. For the rest of the day, the guests kept handing me their empty glasses. And during that time, Christy acted like the party's hostess. I was deeply offended, but I smiled for Mike's sake. That evening, I was finally able to take the terrible suit off. But even at home, Christy found a way to shame me. She sent me a cake with the viral photo on it. It's disgusting. Delete it. I looked at the photo and it seemed terrible again. She's right. A body this ugly must be hidden. <laughs> Suddenly, my son noticed Christy's gift. Wow! Mom! You look so pretty in this photo! I was stunned by his words. You think so? But what about the stretch marks? They're ugly. No, they're beautiful! Because they're proof that I was in your tummy! My son's words and support inspired me. I looked at my body, not hoping to meet any beauty standards, but with gratitude and acceptance. I decided to show everyone that it's okay to not be perfect and that you shouldn't try to seem better than you really are all the time. So I recorded a video. First, I showed myself from a flattering angle. This is my body. And then, what I really looked like. And this is also my body. And it's still beautiful. My honesty impressed women all around the world. And the video got millions of views. My page became more popular than Christie's blog in the blink of an eye. She was absolutely furious. And asked her followers to report my profile in order to get it blocked. This is promoting an unhealthy lifestyle and ugliness. As it turned out, there were more imperfect women, and Christie's appeal worked against her. People started reporting her page for being elitist and toxic. And soon after, Christie lost her blog and her popularity. 
along with her self-confidence. Plus, although she was still beautiful, my ex left her. And came crawling back to me. Why? I didn't change. No, you did. You became so confident, so charming. That was true. And I wished to keep it that way. Which was I refused to have a traitor next to me. Sorry. You're too late. Remember, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. <laughs>